you know, if this was any other venue, I wouldn't do them the favor of talking about their stupid fucking viral marketing campaign. But considering our audience, I'm pretty confident I could talk about a Jesus-based TV show for quite a while without increasing its viewership. So here goes. There's this show called Chosen. It's a multi-season series about the life and times of Jesus of Nazareth that distinguished itself even before it debuted by crowdfunding over $10 million. As every press release the show has ever or will ever put out notes, that makes it the most successful crowdfunded TV show or movie of all time. Which sounds good as long as you don't look at the list of all the other most successful crowdfunding projects of all time. I mean, I'm not going to say they're all stupid, but 15 of the top 20 are NFTs and three slots below. The Chosen on that list is an effort to build Trump's wall through Kickstarter. Anyway, despite this amazing crowdfunding achievement, you've probably never heard of the show. And if you ask its producers, that's because the mainstream media hates Christianity and refuses to talk about any other stuff. And if you ask anybody else, it's because nobody's heard of almost every TV show ever. But regardless of the reason, the show decided to do something about it with a viral marketing campaign. The campaign started with a series of boring, uninspired billboards all over the country with messages like, binge Jesus on them, right? But then a few weeks after those showed up, they were all mock vandalized. The Virgin Mary got silly glasses, Jesus got dressed as a clown, and the website chosensucks.com was conspicuously painted over the show's actual website. And to be clear, it would have been hard to do a worse job faking vandalism. The font is far too sloppy for a good graffiti artist and far too legible for a bad one. The vandals were super careful to never cover up the name of the thing they were vandalizing, and the messaging was hilariously safe for work. Like The most profane the vandalism ever got was a reference to, I shit you not, poopy butts. And if you go to the website that the fake vandals send you to, you're going to find a video wherein Satan tries to discourage you from watching the show and tells you that you're good enough without Jesus. But alas... There is no level of falsity that's self-evident to Christians or they wouldn't be Christians. So many of them were outraged that someone would blaspheme the image of Christ in such a blatant manner. They called their local police departments. They called the companies that own the billboards. And most critically, they called the local media, just like the people who planned and paid for this whole campaign intended for them to. Of course, now the producers are apologizing and saying they never intended for anybody to think it was real. I mean, how could they have possibly predicted that reaction from a group of people that overrepresents the undereducated and has been primed for a decade to seek out persecution against them that doesn't exist? Right? Like, according to the Public Religion Research Institute, almost 60% of white evangelicals believe that there's a lot of discrimination against Christians in this country. That's about twice as many as believe there's a lot of discrimination against blacks and Muslims, by the way. So obviously they were going to freak the fuck out, take pictures of the sign and share them all over social media to prove their point about how oppressed they are. And no apology from any advertiser for anything that caused more people to see their ads has ever been genuine, though this might be the least genuine one so far. And I should point out, by the way, that tricking people into thinking these things were real isn't the only thing they're apologizing for. Because... Yeah, you know, even when you tell devoutly Christian idiots that the spray painted silly mustache on Jesus was put there by a Christian, they don't stop being mad about it. Turns out they take blasphemy super serious there, but alienating their core audience was clearly worth it as long as it ends in the media outlets talking about their show complete with image of their ads. Now, as fucked up an admission as it is that these producers are perfectly fine giving Jesus a clown nose if it means a few more clicks on their website, there's an even more fucked up admission hiding just below the surface. Because what we're talking about here is a fake hate crime, right? Like, if these were billboards about a show aimed at a Jewish audience and they were covered with anti-Semitic vandalism, we'd rightly classify that as a hate crime, even if the language was never any harsher than poopy butts. Now, I'm not saying we should charge these producers with a hate crime. I think that'd be fucking hilarious, but I'm not saying we should. I do think, though, it's worth pointing that out because it's about as stark a confession as you could hope for that the whole idea of Christian persecution in America is bullshit. You'd never actually consider doing this if it was real. In other words, the entire idea of Christian persecution is every bit as much of a marketing campaign as this manifestation of it is.